and welcome to Long's Toys. I have a Transformers Combiner Wars review for you today. This is Legends Class Protectabot Groove. Uh, here he is in package. I really do like the artwork up top of there. I think that looks pretty good. Push them around on the side here. We have Groove. If you'd like to read his little bio, I will try to zoom in. It says a freedom fighter would sacrifice his own spark if it would bring peace. All right. Now, obviously, in the original cartoon, uh, Groove was one of the limbs of Defensor, but he's kind of been downsized now, and he becomes kind of like a chest or plate or shield piece uh, because they decided to give us Rook as one of the limbs. In Japan, they are doing their own Groove in the deluxe class size, so he'll be one of the limbs of Defensor. And I would imagine they'll probably do the same thing they did over here with Slingshot and Wild Rider, where give us Rook, and then a little bit later on, do an online exclusive of Just Groove. So, I've seen picks. It looks pretty good. Uh, you can check them out. I mean, you could just Google it and you'll find them. Um, but yeah, I think that looks pretty good. But I still think that this guy looks pretty good. So, we'll get him out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look. So, here we have Groove out of the package. I think he looks pretty good. It's a little weird that his torso is so short and his legs are really, really long. But it kind of works. I mean, his arms are in proportion, and as a robot, I think he looks pretty good. Here he is from the back. You can see he has the front wheel of his bike mode. But overall, I think uh, as far as kibble goes, it's hid hidden pretty well. Looks pretty good. I really do like his head sculpt, and I'm going to try to get in so you can see that a little bit closer. I really like that. I think the visor looks pretty cool, and the silver and gold look pretty nice. The paint's done well. And I like the little Autobot symbol there right below his head. So very, very cool there. As far as articulation goes, his head does move from side to side, just very limited. He has a ball joint here in the shoulder, a ball joint here in the elbow. He's got a little bit of articulation here in the uh, like midsection where the gray meets the white, just because of the transformation. He's got a ball joint in the hip, then he's got a thigh swivel, and then he's got really just a kind of 90 degrees here in the knee. Oh, I'm sorry, he does have ankle articulation, again, just because of the transformation. But I think for a figure this size, it's got pretty much all the articulation points that you would want. And I think he looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and move on to this transformation. Transformation for this guy is pretty simple. You're going to start by flipping up the uh, kind of gold little chest plate here and that's going to flip up just like that. You're going to sandwich the legs together and they will snap into place unless the wheels are being tricky. There we go. So once that's sandwiched together then you can flip this part up and that you can already see is kind of the back of the motorcycle mode. You're going to flip up at the midsection kind of where I mentioned that joint earlier. And that's going to flip up, and of course the legs are coming unconnected. It's really just this back wheel. It doesn't always want to stay connected. Uh, then you're just going to take these, the black pieces that you can see the handlebars are on, and they kind of fold out and then down, and they're going to fit right in, and the arms are going to just, you can see there's kind of a little cavity right here. It's a perfect little box, and the hands are going to just slide right into that. And just repeat with the other side. Unfortunately, the arms don't really peg together or anything. They don't really peg on the inside either. You just kind of have to get it all to fit in there. But the little bike that you're left with, I think, looks pretty cool. We'll zoom in and take a closer look. I like the little Sheriff Star with the Autobot symbol here on the side. You can see how it has a kickstand on one side, so it stands up fairly well. Uh, it doesn't really roll all that great because of the kickstand. If you kind of tilt it a little bit to the side, it rolls a little bit better. But also, this wheel is almost completely hidden. So, because of that, it doesn't roll the best. But I still think it's a pretty cool looking little bike. Uh, I was hoping I had... I'm going to see if I can get a little minifigure here. See if it can ride on here. Whoops. Here we go. So as you can see, a Lego minifigure actually does kind of fit pretty well. 
Just kind of funny. But anyway, putting that off to the side, I do think it is a pretty decent little bike. I really do like the colors, the white with the red accents, the black and the gold. All works really well together. Alright, so I transformed him back to robot mode, uh, just so we can go ahead and take a look at the kind of chest plate mode that he has. Basically, you're going to kind of just flip this up again, but kind of leave the hands down as they are. And you're going to flip this up again. But instead of putting the legs together, you're going to kind of turn them around. And you can do this however you want. If you want to turn it like this, or if you want to leave this and just use the bicep swivel, it doesn't really matter. But you'll see that there's kind of a peg that sticks out from the arm, and there's a little slot right there, right there on the leg. So you're just going to kind of bring that down and peg that in, and then you're going to flip the black part up. And you're going to just do that again on this side. And flip the black part up. And that's pretty much it. That's going to be it for the uh, the chest plate. I don't have Defensor uh, right now to peg him onto. But I assume that these pegs are going to come into play on the inside of the forearms. That's probably how he's going to connect to Defensor. So you could have it like this, or the package also shows that you could have it like this. I think this way looks better because of the way the handlebars are and the shield. But the directions kind of show it both ways. So I'm not sure if it'll be able to connect to Defensor both ways, but if not, I hope it can connect like this because I think this looks better. So I think Groove is definitely worth it. I found this guy at Target for like $10.30 or something, $10.29. They raised their prices just slightly. Uh, but I have also seen him at Toys R Us for just $9.99, the normal $10 price. So I think he's pretty fun. I know that we're not getting him as a deluxe class right now because I'm, if the Japan mold exists, there's a good chance it'll get over here as an online only just like Slingshot and Wild Rider did. But uh, I definitely think this little guy is cool to tide you over. He's a lot of fun. It's an interesting little mold. And I think it makes a decent chest plate. Uh, once I have Defensor to actually show him on there, I'll get a better picture of how good it looks. But so far, I think it looks pretty decent. And I think just a, even without the shield chest plate mode, I think he's a fun little fig just to have robot and, and vehicle mode. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Transformers Combiner Wars Legends Class Groove, and thanks for watching.